morning dear students so today we have come up with another poem that is kindness so when we speak about kindness or kindness what does it come to our mind what is that whose personality do we get into our mind yes it is mother teresa so we know a person who is full of kind thoughts kind feelings and kind deeds and if you know the life of mother teresa she was very kind to the poor to the destitute to the orphans uh, to the widows to the children to the sick yeah she was very kind to towards these people and she is the one who sacrificed herself for the sake of these little ones or for the for the sake of these poor or we can call them as those were not able the unable people so they had no voice to raise in the society right they were considered as low and no one would speak to them no one would take care of them uh, neither uh, anyone dares to go towards them so here we have the personality and this particular poem speaks about mother teresa and her kindness now if you see the poem in the beginning you have an image of this great personality that is mother teresa now when we speak about kindness okay when we speak about kindness what does it come to you and what are we speaking about and why are we speaking about kindness is that i feel pity to the person who is very innocent who is very poor is that so or when i have an access maybe i am a wealthy person or maybe i live or i lead a luxurious life or when i have everything i give very little amount to the people who need it is that kindness that is when i have everything and it doesn't matter if i give a little thing is that kindness as that i am showing the just kind gesture to the to the another person or you tell me is this kindness i am feeling pity to the person who is going through a lot of problems or going through sufferings and so on but i only feel pity i don't help or i don't show that pity or that kindness through my gestures is that kindness no when i have and when i lead a luxurious life or when i only show concern in my words and i don't reach out to that person it is not kindness kindness is though i have nothing but i try to share my things or share the problems or share the burden that the another person goes through that is what kindness is now when if you have read the previous lesson that is the wise king of mewar what do we have in the story the king feels pity to the old man now what he does there what did he do yes he fed the hungry that means the man was hungry and hence he had pelted the stone to the mango tree and the king instead angrily shouting at the old man what he does he shows a kind gesture telling that asking his cook to provide him some food so this is what kindness is i can i can't say that i am kind unless and until i show it in a action and some of us may say i can't help someone because i have nothing so whatever i have i need to share with the others then we can see the whole society the other person very happy so the poem is also speaks about that particular kindness and this is written by 
the anonymous writer. So I'll read the poem once and then we shall have an explanation of the poem. It takes a big heart and a big soul to drive someone's troubles away. Everyone promises to offer help tomorrow, but very few can step forward to help today. Those who dare to act right now rather than later know the real meaning of kindness. It is this urge of wanting to make a visible difference is when kindliness actually becomes godliness. So the poem explains about the kind feelings or kind thoughts towards the other person. When we have kind thoughts and kind feelings, it is just like we are serving God. Just like I have told you in the previous lesson, when we serve the people or the humankind, it is just we serve like the serve like God. It is just the service given to God. And God doesn't need our service to Him because He has everything. We say He is all powerful. So He has everything and He doesn't require our service. Only our fellow being or our neighbor requires our service. So here I would like to stop the poem children. So in the next video we shall have a explanation, a brief explanation of this poem. And until then you have to read the poem properly. Practice all the difficult words by yourself. Try to have a good pronunciation. And do not make spelling errors. Try to read the spellings by have them and try to read the poem at least twice or thrice. So I would like to stop here and we shall have meet you in the next video. So thank you children. Have a nice day.